all right um, so uh, this is a test uh, to show uh, how effective is this um, uh, the voltage sensor zmpt101 you can find it almost everywhere in all the electronic uh, hobby shop um, so i'm not going to the details so uh, how it works but what i'm doing here is um, this is the mains supply and it is given to this sensor output i'm checking on the oscilloscope and uh, the direct mains also i'm checking through a uh, differential probe and let's see uh, how much is the difference so uh, here you can see that uh, they are obviously different because we can see two uh, different uh, waveform one is the yellow another is the the cyan color let's zoom and you can see that there is a phase shift uh, the yellow one is uh, slightly leading uh, the cyan one cyan is from the uh, differential probe which we can rely on because it's a uh, it's a um, a good probe that i have been using for a long time and uh, the yellow one is from this sensor that zm zm pt101 so it is leading the actual waveform the actual uh, mains voltage by a small angle and uh, so uh, how much it is leading and uh, presently the frequency is 50 hertz which is the mains frequency in india and the phase offset is uh, so I moved the cursor now uh, between these two waveforms and you can see the phase offset is um, in terms of time it is uh, 1.8 millisecond and 1.8 millisecond is for the entire uh, sorry uh, for the entire 50 hertz it is 20 millisecond so 1.8 millisecond out of 20 millisecond uh, if we multiply that by 360 degrees uh, which gives us about 32 degree so the phase uh, shift is about 32 degrees and so this is definitely not good and the other thing is that the waveform is also not um, the sensor doesn't give the proper the output is not really exact replica of the the mains voltage because the mains voltage has a flat top uh, but the output of the sensor is not really flat top so if you want to do any measurement which has to be accurate with respect to the phase then it's not going to work also with respect to amplitude if you're doing it's not going to work because this sensor doesn't give you the uh, the there is a phase lead and then there is also a uh, the the flat top is not faithfully reproduced in the sensor the phase lead is something that we can understand if we look at the schematic uh, there is a dc blocking capacitor is there in series uh, so that uh, phase difference will be inherently there because of the capacitor um, but I'm just showing you an example of how this sensor may not be useful for many applications.